We are facing a crisis here in Tennessee sex trafficking. About 95 kids and countless adults are trafficked every month in the volunteer state. Sickening to hear it, but nonprofits like Rest Stop Ministries in Lebanon taking as many women as they can to help them heal. And as News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky learned, they're now giving those survivors a chance to have a job while they recover with the help of fried green tomatoes. Six years ago, Rondi Smith opened the doors to Rest Stop Ministries. Restore survivors, stop oppression. The particular oppression that we want to stop is the criminal oppression of sex trafficking. The nonprofit runs a long-term residential restoration program for trafficked women in Lebanon. The pandemic has increased the exploitation because of the isolation that it created. Our referrals are going up, 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 and we're almost a full house. Amid higher referrals, the nonprofit became a social enterprise, a goal from the start. The economic empowerment of our survivors is so critical. What we knew is is that if we could have a social enterprise where we could control a trauma-informed environment for them to work in, that they could work sooner and begin to earn sooner. They found a partner in local business owner Holly Cooper right and her daughter Kayla. Fried green tomatoes. <laughs> We sell a lot of fried green tomatoes. As seen on Shark Tank, the pair run a food truck and distribution of, you guessed it, fried green tomatoes. Knowing they needed to add staff to grow their business, hiring women at rest stops seemed to be a perfect pairing. I was in active addiction for about 10 years. I don't think people understand the gravity of how hard it is to get a job when you've been in jail. You have no social security card, you have no ID, and you have no driver's license. And so it's like, where do you start? The duo's heart for women needing a fresh start led to jobs packaging fried green tomato batter mix and secret sauce. I have watched their self-esteem already raised to a new level. We know we need the healing time, but we also are ready to start saving because we've got to become economically independent. And with the product showing up in local stores like Public Square Marketplace, Rest Stop is spreading their mission with every item sold. We've actually had people who have traveled from other states who have visited us, um, who have found out about the ministry, who in turn have actually donated and given back to the ministry or specifically buy the products in here because they know that 100% of those proceeds go right back into Rest Stop. A team of women all in to help these trafficked women get back on their feet. In Wilson County, Claire Kopsky, News Channel 5.